Thanks for coming back to New Aquatics. My name is Matthew. Today we got another unboxing, but it's not fish, it's more plants. But uh, let me turn around here. Is that better? <laughs> so it's some plants. So we went to uh, uh, Buse, Buse Plants, is that right? Buseplants.com and got some plants from there. They had some plants that we've never seen before, like the uh, the Sunrise Java Fern. Um, we were pretty impressed with the way it looks in the picture. So let's take a look to see what it looks like in real life. So and remember, it helps us a lot, and we thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and like, and let's get into this unboxing of some plants that we bought from useplants.com. My trusty knife. All right. Another one of those wrapped and reshipped in a different box thing. That's weird. Even large companies do it. Did we set a timer? Hey Google, set a 20 minute timer. I think they've already been in there for five, right? The baby. Eesh. What in the world? Okay, well, yes, they took a FedEx bag and wrapped it around a box. So weird. All right. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, you know, the Bacopa we got. This stuff is Bacopa amplexicollis. That looks a lot different than the Bacopa we have. It came with one, two, three, four, five stems. The leaves are a lot bigger. Most of these are going to go into the 40 gallon. Well, that's what they look like. It's a different kind of Bacopa. We know it works in our tanks because the other Bacopa grows just fine. <laughs> this is a it's an Amazon sword plant called the Harbitch. So that's what it is here. It's got big fat like roundish leaves which are which are nice. This one here is going in the 40 gallon as well. All right. It's got some dead leaves on it, but it's got a lot of good green ones on there. We'll take these off and take a look at them here in just a minute outside of the package. All right, this is a sword plant as well. This is a grandifolius. This one gets about 20 inches tall. That one looks really nice, really nice and green. This one's going in the 75. We need more root feeders in there. This is hard to see, but this is the Sunrise Java Fern with the wavy leaves that turn yellow and orange. All right, we'll pull them out of the bag here and look at them a little better in just a minute. And this is the uh, Peruinus. The Peruinus. <laughs> Amazon sword plant as well. Another one that gets really tall. Um, we have some regular swords in there that don't get very tall, but the again, another uh, root feeder that goes into the substrate. All right, this one looks really nice. Goes in the 75 as well. That says, thank you for buying our stuff. If the plant is dead we cover it, Yep, it's bigger. And that's it. All right, let's take a look at them outside of these plastics and get them planted after I... I don't think we need to dip these. All right, so this is the Bacopa. 
mainly because we don't worry about snails and that'd be the only thing we'd have to worry about on these. Okay. Smells funny. All right, so this is the Bacopa. Kind of reminds me of a some kind of cactus. I can't remember what it's called, but this is what it looks like. Right there. It's got a lot of dead leaves at the bottom, so after it grows and we clip it, we'll replant them once we got some new growth at the top. I am going to rinse them off though. So let's get your tank done first. This sword plant here. We will get this growing. This will melt quite a bit, so we will cut the leaves that I know are going to melt, guaranteed. So this is what it looks like. This is actually grown out of water, it looks. So it does not look like it's grown uh, submerged, so there will be some melting happening on this here. Submerged based on the look and the feel it was grown submerged this not so much So let's get these planted. I'm gonna go rinse these off and get these out of here And then I'll be right back so you can pause that all right So we got the new bacopa out of the uh, the bag and planted the sword plant that was to go in here planted now It came with three plants All right, so I put one now this these sword plants are going to be for the beta that's in here. We have a regular uh Beta, his name is Fiji in here somewhere. All right, but that's besides the fact. But here's the one of the new sword plants here. All right, here's another one, and then we got the Bacopa right here. Now it goes straight back in a line, all the way back there. Now it's all leaning over because you know the light. But as soon as the light starts, you know, grabbing it, it'll start standing up again like the Bacopa in the back right there. And because we had such extra amount. I went ahead and threw one of those sword plants right here and one piece of that Bacopa back there. We're going to see what it does in my tank. All right, so now we have the other three. The other three is the Java Fern Sunrise, the Perunius, Perun, Peruncis, and the Grandifolius. All right, so let's take a look at those. I'm going to open them up and put them on the table here, and we can take a look at them out of the package. All right, so here we go. We got the Grandifolius right here. It's the thinner leaves, so you'll see these are bigger. The Grandifolius is the much thinner leaves. All right, it looks pretty good. These are grown out of water, so there may be some melting. That's, that's to be given. Darn fan. Blowing stuff everywhere. This right here is the Perunus. All right. So yeah, so that's the Amazon Sword Perunus. Again, another one grown out of water, so maybe some melting. And as you can see here, here's the Java Fern Sunrise. You can see that it comes out and it, and it does that on the leaves. All right, this is going to be a rhizome plant. It is actually going to go, it's going into 75 as well. One of these here. Well, we'll have to see if it gives me any uh, shoots off of the leaves, and I may transfer one into your tank. So that sunrise right here, all right, is going to go, if you see this rock right here, it's going to go on the back right there is where I'm going to attach it, all right, and it's going to grow up right there. So that's where I'm going to put the Java Fern Sunrise, okay? The Amazon Swords, all right, this big one here is going to go where? I believe I was going to put it somewhere over here and the thin one or sorry the thin one is going to go over here the one with the thin leaves is going to go over here and the big one with the big leaves all right it's going to go in here somewhere I'll find out where and then I'll show you all right so we got the plants added to the 75 gallon aquarium so as you can see this is the this one right here is the harvest that we had three stems of so I put one in here all right this is the grandifolius, so you can see the thin leaves. 
it's going to get really tall. Now this one right here came with seven stems. So there's two right here. Or sorry, three right there. Two right here. All right. And then because we had some room over here in our Pleco tank, I put one right there. All right. Now, like I said, the Java Fern Sunrise, it's right here on this rock. You see that's both of these. It came with two rhizomes. I put them right there. All right. It'll be nice to see what those look like whenever they, you know, get bigger. You see all the Java Fern in here we got. We really like Java Fern. All right. Now, the other plant, the uh, the Perinesis, as, um, or something like that, however you say that. I put that in the back right there. There's one stem there. Just one, the biggest one. Put two stems here. All right, he's really wanting to attack my finger. I put my hand in there and he was he was attacking me really well. That's because right back there, I'll zoom in. You see that he is taking care of, oh, zoom out. There's about, I don't know, 150 eggs that are fertilized and the uh, the rest are turning white, but she's doing pretty good at taking care of them back there. All right. But yeah, so that's where we put the plants at. And because I had an extra one of the uh, perinesis right here, I put it over here in our Pleco tank. As you can see in the back, big leaves. All right, I put it right there. Now this tank here is our Pleco breeder tank. Most people use bare bottoms, but I have a super deep substrate in there. What is that? Four and a half, four inches, something like that. All right, so the plants you know do great in there. You can see they're growing in the back. All of that growing. It's a little dark, but that's because you know the lights just turned off. But yeah, so I put one there, one there. They eat zucchini. That's their zucchini stick. All right. Yeah, so that is our journey. So this tank now is completely full of plants. It cannot, pretty much can't house anymore. I may cut some of these stems and, and shorten them down and put some more stems down there. But um, as you'll see, it's completely full of plants. Now, is it completely full of fish? Absolutely not. It's only about 20% stocked. I have in the quarantine tank over here and another one over there, a bunch of bunch more pencil fish that are going to go in here. And that'll put it right at about, uh, you know, 48, 50% stock. But then I also have some epistogrammas that are going to go over here on this side. That's what these episto huts are for. Hopefully they'll get along with these guys. If not, then I'll have to figure something else out. We'll find out. Lots of shrimp in there too. So if you don't think that you can have shrimp with pitch black rams. Look at that guy right there living peacefully with tons of shrimp in the tank. Alrighty. All right. So that was the unboxing from Buse Plant. We were pretty uh, happy with what we got. Everything was green. Now, a lot of it was grown out of water. So we're going to see a lot of melting. And that's pretty common with a lot of these uh, commercial uh, sellers of plants. When you buy them from local people, they're going to be pulled right out of their tanks and, and sold. Now, there are some people that grow out of water, but I prefer uh, plants that are grown in water. So we probably won't be ordering from Buse Plant any anymore unless they find unless we need something that's rare now that is one good thing about them is that they have some pretty rare plants there so if you're looking for some rare plants then that's the place to go all righty well thank you so much for coming here to noob aquatics and watching this unboxing of these plants remember it really helps out and we thank you so much for subscribing remember to subscribe and like you have a wonderful fishy day